Titan Season 3 cast, new characters, returning favorites and more. Brit Curtain Season 3 features several new cast members and fan favorites like Nicola Coughlin and Luke Newton. Dear gentle readers, welcome back to the ton. Brit Curtain Season 3 is upon us, with Part 1 coming to Netflix on May 16th and Part 2 streaming on June 13th. While past seasons have introduced a new character for a specific member of the Brit Curtain family to fall in love with, this season will focus on a love story that's long been brewing, Penelope Pete Harrington and Colin Bridgertons. Penelope, Nicola Coughlin, has had unrequited feelings for the third oldest Brit Curtain boy, Colin, Luke Newton, since the beginning of the show. However, there is an added twist. Penelope is Lady Whistledown and only her former best friend, Aloise Brit Gurdon, knows. The cast of Brit Gurdon, everything to know. This season features a majority of the same cast as the first two minus Phoebe Dinebert, who played Daphne Brit Gurdon and introduces several new faces, including the notable additions of Daniel Francis as Marcus Anderson and Sam Phillips as Lord Diebling. Keep reading to get acquainted with the cast and characters of Brit Curtain Season 3 before the new episodes drop. Courtesy of Netflix. Coughlin's time to shine as Penelope has finally arrived. Often referred to as a wallflower in the first two seasons, Season 3 tells the story of Penelope's confidence and love life blooming. In Seasons 1 and 2, Penelope was Aloise's sidekick, both commiserating over their annoyance and disinterest in the marriage mart. While Aloise rolled her eyes at the whole prospect of marriage, Penelope was her shy counterpart, agreeing with her but silently wanting a love story of her own. Throughout the show, Penelope pines over Aloise's older brother, Colin. She is desperately in love with him, though he only sees her as a good friend. The two write each other letters while he's away on his travels and he assures her he values her, but Penelope is heartbroken when she overhears him saying he would never consider marrying her in Season 2. In Season 3, however, Penelope is ready to come into her own and finally catches Colin's eye. I always look at the three seasons like this. I think Season 1 was about passion, Season 2 was about longing and Season 3, I think it's romance all the way, Coughlin told People in June 2023. It's just so romantic. She added, there were a lot of moments on set where we filmed something, and we turn around, and everyone was sort of clutching their chest being like, oh my god. It was that kind of love. Coughlin has also previously starred in the Irish comedy Dairy Girls as well as BBC's period drama Harlots. Newton's character Colin has been in the background of the Brit Curtain story since the beginning as the shy, eager traveler of the three elder Brit Curtain boys. However, Season 3 is Colin's time in the limelight as he is finally ready for love. In Season 1, Colin falls for Marina Thompson, and the two get engaged until she reveals she's expecting a child with another man. Colin is heartbroken and embarks on his travels, while Penelope is pleased to see him single again. Colin visits Marina in Season 2 for some closure and finds himself ready to move on. He enters Season 3 a new man and finds that many of the ton's women have eyes only for him but is met with ire from his closest friend, Penelope. As he was preparing to step into the role of the leading man in Season 3, Newton told InStyle in April 2024 that he asked the previous two season's male leads, Reach Jean Page and Jonathan Bailey, for advice. Page told him to enjoy a big holiday before all the madness starts. Page sort of grabbed me, gave me a big hug and was like, are you ready for this, bro? Newton said. Meanwhile, Bailey, who is still in the show, has been there kind of the whole way for me, Newton said. We talk all the time, and it was really nice in season 2 seeing how he conducted himself on set knowing that I'd be next, he said. It was nice to see someone do it so well. Newton has previously starred in Disney Channel's The Lodge and BBC 2's The Cut. Claudia Jesse reprised her role as the rebellious middle Brit Curtin sister, Aloise, in season 3. In the first two seasons, Aloise makes it clear she has no interest in finding love or getting married but would rather spend her days reading and engaging in critical thought. She's a modern character, 
Jesse told The Guardian in April 2024. We went to etiquette classes to learn how to bow and curtsy and all that s and I was like, Aloe's unsubscribes from all that. I don't care if it's back in the day, if you're just sitting around with your family, you're going to slouch on the sofa. After failing to find a match in the marriage mart in season 2, Aloise goes on the hunt for Lady Whistledown only to find out it's been her best friend Penelope all along. Shocked and hurt, considering the nasty things the gossip whisperer wrote about her, Aloise breaks off her friendship. Season 3 picks up right where season 2 left off, with Aloise estranged from Penelope and seeking friendship in an unlikely source, previous nemesis Cressida Cooper. Aloise has kept Penelope's secret but makes it clear she's not interested in reuniting, though she still privately does not want to see Penelope hurt. Before Brit Curtin, Jesse led BBC's WPC 56 and had a successful run in season 4 of Line of Duty. Though her character has yet to find a match, Jesse herself actually found love through the show, she's in a relationship with Brit Curtin casting director Cole Edwards. Hannah Dodd is taking over as Francesca Britt Curtin after the original cast member, Ruby Stokes, left the show for another Netflix project, Lockwood & Co. Dodd stepped up to fill her place in season 3, with fans spotting the actress filming in her Regency-style dress in August 2022. While Francesca wasn't seen much in seasons 1 and 2 of the show, often out of the country practicing piano, season 3 finds her front and center after Colin. It is her first season on the marriage mart, and while Francesca is optimistic about finding a husband, she is shyer than her siblings. Dodd has starred in a number of previous Netflix projects, including as Sarah Chapman in Enola Holmes 2 and as young Sophie in Anatomy of a Scandal. She also had a small role in Marvel's Eternals. Luke Thompson reprises his role as the second eldest brother, Benedict Brick Curtin. Though his role was more muted in Season 2, Benedict explored his artistic passions in Season 1. The third book in the series focuses on Benedict's love prospects, but the Brit Curtin showrunners decided to save his story for another season and instead focused Season 3 on the fourth book in the series, Romancing Mr. Brit Curtin. Whether his story will continue in Season 3 is unclear, but there's more to come for the dashing artistic Brit Curtin. He's so open for lots of new experiences, but it can be slightly paralyzing, because it means he doesn't really know where he fits in," Thompson told Country and Townhouse of his character in May 2024. And that's where we find Benedict this season, pushed a bit further on. Thompson has mainly found success on the stage, starring in multiple theater productions including taking over for Bailey's role in King Lear in 2018. As of May 2024, he is preparing for the Royal Shakespeare Company's production of Love's Labor's Lost. Jonathan Bailey is back in season 3 as Anthony once again, stepping down from the leading man role. Anthony has had quite the arc since the start of the show, growing from Daphne's overprotective brother to a man in love. Now, Anthony is also ready to start a family with Kate, and their romance continues to blossom. Bailey's career has taken off since Britt Curtin. In 2023, he starred in Fellow Travelers alongside Matt Bomer, and he's set to star as Fiero in the movie adaptation of Wicked alongside Ariana Grande and Cynthia Erivo. He will also appear in season 3 of the Netflix romantic comedy series Here Stopper. Simone Ashley's Kate Jarma had a leading role in season 2 of Britt Curtin, when she captured Anthony's affection. The season was full of drama, from Kate struggling to keep her love for Anthony at bay while he was courting her sister to their ultimate wedding. In season 3, Kate has a new goal, conceive an heir. She and Anthony start the season off as happy newlyweds who enjoyed their vacation, and their romance has only continued to grow based on a sneak peek Netflix tease of the two enjoying a sweet dance. Ashley is most well known for her role in Netflix's Sex Education where she played Mean Girl Ruby's main sidekick Olivia. Ever the caring mother, Violet Britt Curtin is the matriarch of the family of Abe. Ruth Gemmell returns in season 3 to reprise her role after also appearing in Queen Charlotte, a Britt Curtin story. 
Violet's main goal is to see all her children find a love match in the same way she did, and she tries to lend her support to each child as they seek a partner. After failing to help Eloise find a match, Violet tries to convince Francesca to look for love while supporting her in any way she can. However, it may be her third son who needs more of her attention. Gemmel starred in the 1997 film Fever Pitch, which she followed with productions like EastEnders, Home Fires, and Penny Dreadful. Sam Phillips rounds out the list of new characters in Season 3, playing Lord Diebling, a potential suitor who approaches Penelope early in the season. Though he has unusual interests, for his description on Deadline, with wealth and a noble title to back up his eccentricities, he'll have no shortage of interest from young ladies this season. Prior to Brit Gurdon, Phillips appeared on several seasons of The Crown as the Queen's Equerry. He has also starred in numerous plays in London including Much Ado About Nothing and The History Voice. After exploring her origin story in the Brit Gurdon spin-off, Queen Charlotte, a Brit Gurdon story, Gold Arashi Yavel once again picked up the crown to play the sassy Queen Charlotte. In season 2, the Queen's character left disappointed that her diamond pick didn't end up meeting her perfect match, throwing off her game. Lady Whistledown her the Queen's pride, and though Eloise did find out her identity, she failed to expose her to the Queen. Rashi Yavel has previously starred in 2016 as Lady Macbeth and had a small role in 2021 as Dune. Lady Danbury is a fan favorite for her snide remarks and conniving plans, so it's no surprise Ajo Ando is back to bring her character to life in season 3. In the first season, Lady Danbury plays an active role in scheming with Violet Britgerton to get her friend's son, Simon, to fall in love with Violet's daughter, Daphne. After riding the high of her success in season 1, Lady Danbury was back to her matchmaking ways in season 2 hosting the Sharma family in her home as the youngest of the sisters, Edwina, prepared to meet her match. Now, in season 3, Lady Danbury is once again overseeing the marriage mart and throwing balls, all while whispering ideas into the Queen's ear. Ando has a long list of impressive credits before Brit Gurdon, including starring alongside Morgan Freeman in Clint Eastwood's 2009 film Invidus. Her TV roles also include stints in Doctor Who, Casualty and EastEnders. One of the several new characters introduced in Season 3, Daniel Francis joins the show as Marcus Anderson. Marcus is described as a charismatic presence who lights up any room he enters, attracting the notice of certain matriarchs in the town and the ire of others, per deadline. While not much is known about his character, he is seen interacting with both Lady Danbury and Violet Britgerton in previews. Francis previously starred in Netflix's Stay Close and S series Liaison in 2023. Cressida Cooper has been the Britgerton girls' nemesis since season 1, constantly stepping on their toes, literally and figuratively. Jessica Madsen plays the role and sees Cressida making a pivot in season 3. Now that Eloise and Penelope are no longer friends, Cressida has taken Penelope's place by Eloise's side and is determined to prove to her she's turned a new leaf. Madsen has previously appeared in the 2017 horror film Leatherface and 2019's Dark Light. Portia Feet Harrington, played by Polly Walker, plays the caring yet conniving mom of the Feet Harrington sisters, including Penelope. Portia is always under stress in season 1. She had to deal with her husband's frivolous spending and in season 2, she is stressed about her family's future fortune. By season 3, Portia seems to have her family's future in the palm of her hands and all set. However, when a state official comes poking his nose into what might be a fraudulent fortune, she begins to worry again. Walker is known for her work on films like Emma, Clash of the Titans and Patriot Games. In 2006, she was nominated for a Golden Globe for her work on the television series Rome. Martin Zimhangbi first took on the role of Wilmond Rich in season 1 of Brit Curtin, when he played Simon's best friend. Will is a boxer who also owns his own gym, but is not considered an esteemed member of the ton. In the first two seasons, Will struggles at times to make ends meet for his family and has to make tough decisions between his morals and his need to provide. However, 
in season 3, his fortune changes as he enters a new era with his wife, Alice, and their three kids. In addition to Brit Gurdon, Im Hang Bee is most well known for his work in 2019's The Tragedy of King Richard II. More of a background character until season 3, Emma Naomi's Alice Montrich is Will's faithful and loving wife. She supports her husband and holds him accountable for his actions. Season 3 turns a tide for the Montrich family as their status is elevated to proper members of the Tun's elite society. Naomi previously starred in 2021's Professor T and 2023's Surprised by Oxford.